Hey everyone, Patrick here, Nowhere to Go Show. I am so excited because it's time for some new TCG. I'm not gonna lie, I took a little bit of break after Fusion. I had uh, not some good pulls, plus um, just at home and stuff, I wanted to take a break. And I said, you know what, we got a few months till the next set, which turned out to be Brilliant Stars, which obviously has so much great art in it. I'm so excited to open them up. And uh, not only that, we're opening them up early. This officially comes out this Saturday, the 25th. And uh, we got them early. So thank you to local game store. And uh, shout out to them for always being fair with pricing and not jumping on these, these crazy things where even your friendly game shops are charging astronomical differences. So, so far I've got three. I should be able to pick up one or two more booster boxes. So I'm super excited about that because so far it seems like the pull rates are great. Uh, I also got a single ETB for now because I don't think I need too much more. We'll open that in a different video, but I'm just gonna, let's grab this middle one. We're only gonna do one today, of course. And, um, and just kind of really see how this is going. Again, I'm super excited to have some Arceus and Charizard. But you guys know me. I love full art. Got some powder on these on these boxes. <laughs> Straight from the factory. Uh, I love full arts. I love the uh, character rares that are kind of back in this from Cosmic. Which was such a fun little bunch of art. Oh, I went a hard time on that one. I got some, got some gold in here. Speaking of gold, there's a couple gold cards, of course, including the Ultra Ball, which is back. Very exciting. You're going to have a couple cards, um, those black, like, gold shiny cards with Urshifu. Um, speaking of Urshifu, those all arts are absolutely insane. And um, I'm so excited to see what we got. So a few different pack arts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just take them out and put them yeah. that to the side yeah just sh quickly showcase the pack art is some of the best i've seen uh the color scheme with brilliant stars sh sword and shield we got arceus you're gonna have a whimsicott you're gonna have shaman uh, which is really nice and of course this beautiful art that's on this pack art of uh charizard so it's one of those i'd be like oh it'd be cool if it uh, was actually released but it's not so we're gonna get right to it starting with the arceus pack art and um, if you guys could, just for Brilliant Stars and for the Nowhere Go Show, if you can leave a like, subscribe if you if you, if you you can, it's free. Uh, let your friends know. Oh, I always, sounds weird, but I always like to preserve at least one of each pack art. So as long as I don't tear it, which did pretty good. And as you all know, I don't really hide the, the color of the code card like I, a lot of YouTubers do. Again, I think it builds excitement. So previously, I'm sure we talked about this in Fusion, White used to mean uh, you're going to have a rare or better, and this is going to be, now it's black and it's opposite. Where it was white and green, now it's black and white. White is not good. So we're starting out hopefully with some heat here, and same trick, two, three, four cards to the front. This is my first pack of Brilliant Stars. Here we go, guys. And the new energies, look at that. Beautiful. Love it. So we've got Dark Energy. We're going to have a Grottle. Prinplup, Monferno. I might go a little slow at first for the new art. And Chino, that's beautiful. We got some Car Blast. Weasel, very cute. Halucha, I love that. I just love the, the kind of simplistic background throw. Ooh, Luxio is the first parallel of the set. Let's see if we get some first pack magic. Oh, we got a Dracovish V. So we already pulled a V card as our first uh ultra rare so very nice we'll put you over here with dracovish <laughs> i always love saying that so we'll keep the i guess the parallels over there for now into shaman so we have the arceus pack art well oh, rip that one up so that'll be trash white so we'll go ahead and won't spend too much time on the ones that aren't um Gonna be the rares. So we got Leaf Energy, Staravia, Floatzel, we got Hunting Gloves, Gibble, Turtwig, Trap Pinch, that's a really cute Piplop, Shroomish, Cleansing Gloves is a parallel, very nice, and a Golurk as the non holographic rare. So 
I'll put these all to the side. I already picked up a binder, a white one, kind of go with the color scheme. To go ahead and put these in probably tomorrow. Let's see if I can gently get this one open so I don't have to worry about the remaining. There we go. Charizard pack art is good. It's white, which is all right. One, two, three, four. We got some lightning energy. Clang. We got a Torkoal. Double Turbo. Nice. We got a Riolu. Starly. N that doesn't happen. Like, ever. A double common. You know, that's a error pack. We'll go ahead and say that. It'll <laughs> be Shroomish. Uh, Piplup. Choice Belt. And a Staraptor is the non-holographic. Rare. So a couple trainer holographics. Uh, I will say it's nice to have something like the Choice Belt back. Which, as you can see, attack the, of the Pokemon this card is attached to. Does 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon V. So... It's going to be great for up with the Pokemon. Not necessarily to Echo Bish <laughs> himself. All right, Whimsicott Pack Art. So with the Pack Arts, they, they kind of reveals you what V-Stars are available. So V-Stars is a new mechanic. And um, so you got Charizard, Whimsicott, Arceus, and Shaman. This is black. Oh, so there's this new. I'll show it to the front. You see a lot of them. A lot of YouTubers get confused by this. And it makes me wonder, uh, I'm not calling anyone out, but like, you didn't know what this is? This is a marker for the V-Star, kind of like the old GX tokens. I actually like this. I think it's more efficient. We'll put that to the side. Uh, probably only need a couple per deck, but cool. So we got a Blunder Policy, Executor. There's that Choice Belt. Ooh, nice Grimer. Sneasel. That Bidoof, I absolutely love that art with that, the, shat, the shade. I think it's really cool. Ooh, Electabuzz, just action pack. Chimcho. A Cherubi as a V parallel and ooh boss's order. I like the hollow on that with the the moon uh, with Cyrus. So really nice boss's order holographic rare. And on to the next. I'm so curious to uh, kind of the hit rates so far. They've seemed pretty good uh, with um, some of the other you know where Pokemon sends some early product too. And you know Pokemon, if you ever want to send it to me, you know I am very open and honest and i've been playing pokemon for well 25 years <laughs> fighting energy a uh, bear tick fracture berry we got magmar star you burmy sock truby cub chew is the parallel and warmadam so that's one of those like realistic ones interesting Okay. Sh -sh 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 I think it's cool that, uh, and I'm sure it was timed accordingly, that Arceus is uh, obviously main focal of the set while the new game came out. And it was like, oh, good for y'all. All right, that was the last of the pack arts I needed. Oh, got some really bad whiting on that one. But it's not the, the rare. So we got Psychic Energy, that Fracture, Tropius. Roseanne's backup, which does so much. Dedene, Cub Chew, Duskull, Farfetch, Execute. We got a Vibrava, and then Electivire. That is a, such a fire art on this Electivire. Let me see if I can get that to focus up a little bit. Yeah, that is beautiful. Uh, not holographic, but wow. So we'll put you here. So, so far, I will say, other than that little bit of whiting I just saw on that one card, the centering and card quality just seems better than um, kind of what we saw in 2021. It was a little rough. Ooh, black. A Charizard. Could that mean the all art? Which is one of the craziest all arts. The one with Venusaur. Two, three, four. Here we go. We got Metal Energy. We got Gruddle. Prinplup. Monferno. Piplup, Carblast, Weasel, that, I love that Halucha throw. We got a fresh water set when you're thirsty. Oh, and we got a Shaman V. So our second, um, I've read that, look at that, just glare on his eyes, glare with it. Very nice. Revenge Blast, this attack does 40 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Um, so, nice. So, 
two hypers so far, nothing crazy yet. Um, I hope my stuff turns into kind of what these other YouTubers saw. We're almost halfway through the first half, so we're almost a quarter of the way through. <laughs> if you're following me there. I got a white code card. Uh, and speaking of that, the TCG Live, I saw some uh, betas and stuff kind of went live, so we should be expecting that soon. I have so many code cards I want to run through, and maybe we'll do that live and kind of see what I pull. Monferno, Bear Tick, Ball Toy, Axu, Nose Pass. We got a Snorunt. We got a Clink. Ooh, the Dedene. It's a really nice uh, character rare with the Dene. And Flygon is the non holographic rare. Am I kidding? All the character rares are really cool. Shaman Pack. That's another weights. One, two, three, four. Leaf, Torkoal, Double Turbo, Grottle, Milk Milk, Impy Dimpy Dimps. That's kind of so loud. <laughs> Jim Char, uh, Holographic uh, or Parallel Sock, nice, and a non holographic Scatelier is the, uh, was the rare. So, put these over. Win Sakats, going out on a whim, Sakats. Ooh. Hopefully the, <laughs> the whiting on that. Good thing we don't, uh, I wonder if someone's ever jokingly sent in a code card that they get graded. I think that'd be quite funny. So we got water energy. We got magma basin. That's cool. Um, attach fire energy. Discard one of their bench Pokemon player attached. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Crawdance. Collapse Stadium. I think that has a maybe a full art. Mancino. Ball toy. Snorunt. Ooh, nose pass. That Dedene. Ooh, the Parallel Clefairy. I love it. Ooh, and we got another V. So we're three Vs in with nothing extra crazy. Again, the glowing eyes with Agron. Got Rock Slide and Merciless Strike. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, it's attacked as 150 more damage. So this could be devastating, but look at all that. <laughs> that is gonna take some work. I'm gonna keep them closer because I'm, I'm expecting some heat. So that's three three hits so far. I'd say we're about 25% through, maybe a little bit more. And maybe just this first half of this box will be a little rough. Ooh, back-to-back -back black code cards, though. One, two, three. Yep, and we got the nice V-Star marker. Let's go for a V-Star. Hopefully we get it. So V-Star, we got that Fracture. Team Yells Cheer, Marnie's Pride, Ball Toy, Axu. Nose pass, snore runs, clink. Ooh, Starly is the, the and a ooh that Lucario. Look at that hollow rare on that. It is just stunning art on that. We love love Lucario here. So welcome to the set, Lucario. Shaman, I need you, buddy. Okay, that's okay. One, two, three, four. Hopefully this kind of uh, rough first half will be a sign that the second half will be crazy. Oh, and there's that Ultra Ball that I mentioned is back. And that, that gold card's gonna be probably super expensive. And there, hit him on top. You got Sock, Corefish, Golette, Chime Show, Chimchar, Impidimp is the parallel, and Abreloom is the non-holographic rare. Another thing is this set is still kind of large with 172 normal. Then you got 30 in the trainer gallery plus, you know, everything else with it. So at least it's not like fusion. I'm not going to lie. I just, I can't stand huge sets like that. And I hope Pokemon kind of catches our feedback on that. And I know maybe they got to catch up from as much as been released in Japan. But, and I'm kind of liking the idea of what they're doing with this, kind of with their Shining Fates is where you can pull... A lot of extra pulls just in your parallel spot. I think it makes it more rewarding. People make feel like they got their money's worth with that Friends and Galar. Beautiful card. Weavile. So keep that up, Pokemon. Impidimp. Golette. Get that yelling cast form. Chimchar. We get that Freshwater parallel again. Ooh. Ooh, we got a Honchkrow V alternate art. I think that's... No, or is that... Oh, uh, that's... Yeah, this is an alt art. So not even a trainer gallery. So pretty nice... 
let me see if I can get a little bit different light on that so you can kind of, oh, that is absolutely stunning. Boss Pockets, this Pokemon may have up to four Pokemon tools attached to it. If it loses this ability to discard Pokemon tools from it, uh, that is really cool. So pretty nice uh, alt art. Not one that, you know, definitely chasing, but I'll, I'll take it. I love full art Pokemon. Well, I think not to be Pokemon. I like full art art in general, and that is so shiny. You can even see it just in the background. So that Honchkrow V is our first big pull of the day. Hopefully not the last. All right, we got that Fighting Energy. Cynthia's Ambition, I like that card. Charon's Care, Pachirisu. We got Starly, Milky, Calorie Blast, Clefairy, Cherubi. Ooh, Starmie, Parallel, and an Ice Skew, non-holographic rare, but it's a Fusion Strike. Maybe I'm not paying attention. Was that the first Fusion Strike Pokemon in this set? I mean, I know that's not the focal for it, but... Who knows? All right, Arceus waits. Okay. We got fire energy. I don't think I've really seen any of those yet. That clay doll looks so intense, like it's just about to drop the hottest album. <laughs> Acerola's premonition. We got a pot helmet. We got a real Lou. We got a Starly. Spirit Tomb, always still one of the weirdest Pokemon. Milkery, design wise. Oh, there's that Ice Q again, Fusion Strike, but in parallel, and that Magmortar with Electivire. That's a really cool card. I always like when they have the multiple Pokemon in it. Bolt, Explosion, Electivire is on your bench. This attack does 120 more. That's really cool. Which he's in this um, set, I believe. Did we already pull him? I don't know. <laughs> so we're getting up the last three packs of this first half. And I mean, we technically got four hits with one really good hit. It's not kind of where I thought. Um, no trainer gallery yet, which compared to uh, what I've seen, it seems a little light. And you know, people always have their theories that, well, just Pokemon automatically send them some like preloaded boxes with things. Anything's possible. I get it, it's marketing. Hopefully that's not the case. Yeah, execute. You know, we got a Grim style non-holographic. Uh, very terrifying, so. <laughs> so down to the last two of the first half, we got some Charizard. Ooh, Charizard's bringing the heat, no pun intended. One, two, three, and four. It's a very well-rounded card. I think we might have something here, but we have Metal Energy to start it off. A Bear Tick, that Fracture. Collapse Stadium, Magmar, Psychedelic Craziness, Staryu, we got a Burmy, Salk, Cherubi, ooh, that Morgrim parallel, and ooh, a Dust Noir as the just standard holographic rare, but look at that art, it's pretty intense, I love just where they put the hollow in it, that's a pretty cool one, so Dust Noir has been pulled. We are down to our last pack of the first half. Let's see if we can end it on something good. Usually on a, in a booster, if I can have eight to 10 total pulls, I feel pretty happy, but it seems like uh, folks are getting more than that. So hopefully the second half is about to be heat for, okay. Got some water. We got some Vibrava. Cafe Master has a really cool alchemy card. Purloin, Duskull, Schneezel, Corpfish, that crazy Magmar art. Ooh, that was a white code card, so maybe this can come in any pack. So remember I mentioned earlier that dead NA? Look at that, the hollow, I love it, just makes the eyes glow. This is a very vibrant, beautiful card. Holy cow, so our first trainer gallery, number seven out of 30. Oh, and that fire Mewtwo. That, not gonna lie, guys, this is one of my favorite Mewtwo arts I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I wish it was a holographic, but this dead NA. Beautiful. The centering is a little thicker on the right, but yeah, it's and some whiting all on this left side. But other than that, we got a trainer gallery card. Very exciting to end the first half. So, And I was in a white coat, so I wonder if... 
I guess because it's not considered in the rare spot, it can just be in any pack, which really makes this a very unpredictable set to open, which in my opinion, I love. It makes it exciting. And I hope Pokemon continues this, which there is a lot more trainer galleries that are not, uh, that have been released already in Japan, but are not hit the US yet. All right, we're gonna start the second half with a fighting energy. We've got a Crawdont. We got that Ultra Ball is back. Vibrava, that beautiful Bidoof, and that cool Electabuzz. Love that Halucha. We got that Buizel. Oh, we got a Gubble. Double Turbo is the parallel. And we got, ooh, look at that Bibbrow. What's that? Again, hollow, three dimension on that. He's the only thing that's not holographic, which is pretty cool on that, other than the eyes. So, really nice Bibarel on there. All right. Arceus Pack Arts. That dead enemy is so cool. That Haunch Crow is really cool, too. I didn't think I'd pull any regular all arts. Again, that Charizard's the, the, the heat one. <laughs> Speaking of heat, fire energy. We got a Choice Belt, Luxio. We got a Hitmontop, Spirit Tomb, Axu, Impidimp. Crazy Magmar, Riolu, that Buizel, and Lipard, non-holographic, but pretty cool uh, looking Lipard there. And let me just do all that powder that came off. Let me just wipe these real quick. Okay, just wanna make sure. Maybe that'll help with some lighting. All right. And you always give guys, give me feedback. If you're like, oh, maybe it was not enough light or too much light. You know, I'm always looking to just better myself and put out better content for y'all. Psychic Energy, Luxio. We got the Hitmon Top, Magma Basin. There's that Didene. Ooh, cool Farfetch, taking a psychedelic shower. <laughs> Duskel, <laughs> Grimer. Cute little Shinx, Collapse Stadium Parallel, and that Mewtwo again. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to see some like upcoming like full art Mewtwo's that are like insane, like all arts. Oh man, uh, the armored one is, is is incredible. The same thing with the, when he's in his um like chamber, the tube, the tube. Yeah. From the movie, y'all know what I'm talking about. We got a V-Star marker. We also had a black uh, code card. So we should have some heat in here. Floatzel, Sigalyph, have you seen that? Patrisu. Angry Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Schneezel, Clink, ooh, Throw, and ooh, a Raichu V. So, so far at least we're not pulling any duplicates on these uh, hyper, not hyper rares, these ultra rares. So we now have five, I'm sorry, four regular Vs, an alternate art, and a trainer gallery. So that's pretty cool. Let's say so far, it's a pretty decent set. Two, three, four, six pulls, so. Still a good bit of packs left. Ooh, back to back. Let's go. And you guys know, these other boxes, you know who's gonna come over. We're gonna have Rial, we're gonna have Kalen, and you know those guys bring some serious heat. Rial brings the best luck when it comes to Pokemon, it doesn't make sense. I probably should have waited to open anything with him. <laughs> but nonetheless, that'll be coming soon. So we got Hitmontop as the parallel. Ooh, and we got Marnie's Pride as the holy cow, not even a trainer gallery. This card I figured was gonna be incredibly difficult. People have this weird, crazy infatuation with, well, with a lot of waifus, I don't like that term. Especially Marnie, she's a child. But wow, look at this card. The texture is pretty nice on it. I can't believe we pulled a full art trainer and actually probably one of the best looking ones in the in the whole set. I, holy cow. This is some heat and we got a lot to go. Oh man, I'd, I'm hoping for two more character rares because we've only, or the, the trainer galleries. All right, so let's do that. White coat card. Man, this has been... This is already such a fun set to open. Water Energy, Team Yells Cheer, Sinchino, Cleansing Glove, the Weasel. We got a Gibble, Trap Hinch, Cast Form, Throw. Oh my God! 
So back to back, I keep forgetting that. That can come in oh, even white code cards. Sorry, Muck, you're cool. But we got the Vaporeon with blue or Gary, however you wanna call him. That is, let's get a little better. Yeah, oh my Lord. That is so shiny. There's so much detail in these cards. And what I like about them, same thing with the Cosmic Eclipse, is they just, they're like little stories. Oh my God, we are, we are pulling some fire. So I was like, should I get a couple more boosters? The local game store is getting them. And I was like, eh, I guess it depends on the pull rates. Just based on this, uh, this is this set is great pull rates. And Pokemon, this gets, this gets people wanting to get more. And I love the whole, you don't know where those trainer galleries are gonna be. Doesn't matter what color code card. Fantastic. All right, so we got Dark Energy. Can this get any crazier since, you know, <laughs> Cleansing Gloves, Floatzel, Corkfish, Golette, Chinko, Chimchar, Mancino, ooh, Friends and Galar Parallel, and a Garchomp. Ooh, that's a pretty nice hollow pattern on that as well. Beautiful. Man. <laughs> I can't believe we pulled a Vaporeon. And don't worry, we'll do a... A review at the end. Four. We got a Leaf Energy. Morgrim. Friends and Galar. Purple Pass. Pretty cool Grimer. Clefairy. Badoof. Electabuzz. Hello, Chosen. Crazy. And that Spirit Tomb parallel. And a Clefable. So, non holographic rare, but I don't think that's our first Clefable we pulled. Should be able to fill up this binder of most of the commons just in this first box or so, maybe the first two. Ah. All right. And I'm pretty excited for TCG Live and the dive into it and, if, and maybe play against some of y'all. I would love to do that. I, I don't play as often because I just don't have time, but I think that's going to give me that access to, to do that. Staryu, Blast, Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Ooh, that parallel looks nice in the Machino. And a Dredagon. Pretty cool. I haven't seen Dredagon in a bit. Unless I'm just mistaken. Charizard Pack Art. Whew. Ooh, and it's black. One, two, three, four. How many character rares are on the door? It seems... Let's see if the other ones have that kind of bright. It did. Okay. I was like, I don't know if that's a weird misprint. All right. We got Gloria. We got Staravia. We got Barry. We got Shinx. Bidoof. We got Electabuzz. That beautiful hello. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. Weasel. And the Electabuzz in parallel. Oh, my God. What do we got? Ooh, and we got a Flygon V. So we actually got a regular full art Pokemon as well. Um, this is pretty exciting. This I haven't had a box this good, even disregarding the, the the character rares in a long time. Fusion Fusion Strike was not not my my thing. I'm gonna put you over here, buddy. Sorry, Dracovish. No offense. <laughs> I am all in on this set. That's nine hits. Nine. See, this is what makes people think they've won. And it's crazy because, you know, you look at these full arts and they're really the same as the, the regular cards. They just, they look cool. They kind of show off when you're in, in play. I get it. Ruby, Riolu, Starly. And, and, you know, don't make it super easy, but don't make it so difficult. Oh, my God. So we just got our third trainer galley, which is actually one of the coolest looking ones. And on Zekrom. And the, look at that foil, just going all over. And it's gorgeous. And a Manaphy, really cool. But holy cow, the centering is still a little thicker on the right, but better than um, what the, the, the Dene um, kind of put in. But not too bad on the rear. But, oh my god, that is awesome. So three character rares. Oh, we still have a stack of packs left. Can we pull another one? Oh my god. This is insanity. 
All right, white code card, V star marker. All right, we got a Dusclops, Morgrim, little creepy thing, Gabites. <laughs> we got a Cub Chew. We got the Dene, far fetched. I like that Duskull art a lot. I think it's really cool. That Grimer, the artists have been kicking it up lately. Sinchino and a Luxray. So we're actually pulling a bunch of cards uh, in the non hollow spot we haven't pulled before. Well, it is my first box, so that makes sense. But you know what I mean? Not hasn't been a lot of duplicates, which I've been excited about in the in the rare spots. One, two, three, four. All right, so we at least got a rare here. We got some heat, guys. Fire, Morgrim, Dragons, glad they're back. Gloria, Throw, Magmar, Staryu, Burmy, Sock. Yeah, got my boy in a parallel. And we got a Kingler V, so no duplicates yet. And that is a yet another hit. So we are up to 10, 11 hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, 11 hits. I am, and no duplicates. This is getting me very excited. One, two, three, four. All right, we're getting near the end, guys. Psychic, Freshwater Set. Honestly, I'm so happy with what I already pulled. Weavile, Minchino, and don't even need anything else that really is gonna make me like well, I've got Parallel Nose Pass and a Haxorus. Don't think I pulled that one yet. Oh, I'm just loving looking at that. That is, this is, I don't know, I'm on the other side of the camera, but it is leaving a big smile on my face. And I've had a couple people ask me, I was like, do I, you know, get some of these and I hold them? Do I resell them? I don't like doing that. I'm actually a open everything you know i get it the whole resell or maybe just have it sit on your shelf but that's why i open them and then i put these in binders and i think they look so cool metal energy and that's what i do with mine star me weavile dust clops. if i ever do sell anything it's going to be at its you know probably original asking price weasel unless i've got something in insane we got a crawl down to parallel and we got a torterra so another hollow rare that we have not pulled yet all right, I think we've got three, three packs remaining. Uh, can we pull one more hit? One more. I was gonna say not this one, but I keep forgetting. They've got them in the reverse spot. <laughs> I think two out of three have been in that, um, in a white code card. Vibrava, Tropius, that crazy clay doll, Sock, Corpfish, Golette, Charnjo, Chimchar. Oh my God. So this is a trainer gallery one, and the, but this is single strike mustard. Really cool card. Not say, I'd say a chase. Oh, cling cling. But that is another big hit. That is a fourth, technically, trainer gallery card, which is such a good amount for being 30. Not to cover you up, Zekrom. I will uncover you in a minute. That is incredible. Two packs remaining. I don't see anything else. I mean, that's 12 hits. No repeats. This is this has been crazy. Pokemon, bravo. Get yourself some brilliant stars if you can. Hit up your local game store. Support them as long as they're being fair. Let your voice be heard. Tropius, Claydol. Um, be at GameStop day one. I promise you if you get there relatively early, you're going to be fine. As long as you've got some honest employees. Ooh, that parallel Cynthia's ambition and a Mothim is a non hollow rare. And get yourself one, but we're hitting the last pack, which appropriately is a Charizard. Uh, we didn't pull today, but again, I can't even complain or be mad, and I'm not. So, again, if you guys can leave a like for me uh, for Pokemon, bravo. And what do you think? Do you think Pokemon should do this where they have these additional hits that just make it feel more money's worth? Or do you think, no, you like the kind of more chase of it? I know everyone's got opinion, and that's totally fine. But you know my opinion. I like pulling heat. Electric, we got a magma base and a crawdont. We got that ultra ball. We got Burmy. We got Staryu, Carablast, Clefairy, Cherubi, Hunting Gloves, 
And then, oh, there's that alchemy with the Calfe Master. So a non-hollow rare to finish it off. Uh, but again, one we haven't pulled yet. So just a very quick recap on the straight heat we pulled today. That doesn't make sense. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to keep all the Vs together. And then the trainers. All right. So that Honchkrow V is a uh, alt art and it is absolutely stunning. Pretty cool texture on it. Not, you know, something when I was like chasing, but very happy with that one. It's like thick too. That Dead Dene, love it. Love the color scheme. Really cool. So we got one. We got Zekrom uh, with N uh, as a second trainer gallery. We had the Vaporeon, which is such a crazy hit. It's probably my favorite character. Trainer gallery pull today. Uh, two out of 30. We got that single strike mustard, which looks crazy. You would think this would be like the standard um, trainer cards, but it's not. It's actually one of the trainer gallery, which not mad. It's great. But this Marnie's Pride, I think just is such a huge hit. I, it's, it's ridiculous. And then we got some pretty good Vs. We got, I mean, we got Raichu. We got Agron. We got Shaman. We got Dracovish, Kingler, and... Oh, and I forgot, Flygon regular full art. So we pulled a full art, four trainer galleries, an all art, and then five Vs on top of everything. So, guys, this has been the best box I've probably ever opened. Get yourself one, leave a like, subscribe if you will, and stay tuned. We're going to open up some more pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching.